Hello everyone. Welcome to jobskillshare.org. So we are again uploading a new lecture on resolving tickets pertaining to IT network issues. Today we need to discuss the same chapter that is interview and routing that is being that is correlated to our module that is Cisco Core Networking Knowledge. So the, the chapter we are discussing today is in the VLAN routing. The ticket would be revolving around this topic. So moving on to the ticket number four, basically this ticket number four. So ticket number four is about PLABCSC01 server cannot communicate with this gateway. So basically the gateway configured on this PC is not being able to communicate. We're going to troubleshoot that in the topology. The topology is hereby as follows. The PC is in the VLAN 10, having IP 192.168.10.10. Its gateway should be 192.168.10.1. That should be pingable. There's a trunk between these two switches, and this switch and my one one will be acting as a router on a stick. So inter VLAN routing can be done, and it is configured in this topology, but this gate this PC should be communicating with this gateway that is not communicating. We will troubleshoot that. So we will be moving on to the lab. First of all, if we move on to the PC itself, we will see that whether it is pinging its gateway or not. So the gateway is 10.1. Sorry, the IP should be correct. 10.1. It is not pinging its gateway. If we want to check the VLANs, the NY access one, so we can check the VLANs, show VLAN. So we can see over here we have user VLAN 10 and server VLAN 20. So this PC is in user VLAN. If we move on to the NY WAN router that is acting as a router on a strict topology. We have to see the interfaces show. We have to check the interfaces. Show interface. Show IP interface brief. Show IP interface brief. You can see over here this is 20.1. A sub interface is already the already there for VLAN 20 but there is no sub interface for VLAN 10. For router on a topology or router on a stick topology for inter VLAN routing there should be a sub interface that is acting as a gateway for its respective VLAN. So we will create that. Commands interface gigabit ethernet that is a sub interface 0 slash 0 0.10 that is the sub interface which should be there. It is not already configured over there. Encapsulation dot one q VLAN 10 IP address for this particular VLAN is one line two dot one line two one six eight dot ten dot one with the subnet mask two five five dot two five five two five five dot zero no shut to break up this interface so this should be up now we can check that whether it is pinging its gateway so we need to check this it should be able to ping it its gateway or not So now we can verify with the ping 192.168.10.1. It is pinging its gateway because we have to create sub interface for the respective VLANs. We can try to ping the server VLAN sub interface or the gateway. It should be pinging that as well because inter VLAN routing can be done. It's done through sub interfaces on the router that is N, Y, WAN 1 in our case. The topology is simple, we had to follow that and the topology is as simple, this is the trunk, this is also trunk, this PC is part of VLAN 10. Solution, we need to see the solution here, create sub interface of VLAN 10 as 
This is following a lot of honesty topology. Thank you.